So the next question is, what is an activation function in neural networks? So activation function in neural network plays a crucial role. And the choice of activation function will uh, define the performance of your neural network. We, by now, have already spoken a lot about the weights and how we compute the z-scores using the weights, the input data, or the previous layer's input, a previous layer's output. Uh, we add the bias factors to obtain the z-scores, and then we need to apply activation function to obtain the activation. So how much each neuron should be activated when computing the next layer? So that is exactly what activations do. So activation functions, they uh, in neural network, they introduce the idea of nonlinearity. If we were to not use specific type of activation functions, they will our model will be similar to the uh, linear regression model. We will have a plain linear type of model that will be able to uncover the linear patterns and will not be able to uh, discover these complex hidden patterns in the data. And we have seen that in the true world, the data most of the time contains nonlinear relationships. Therefore, we introduce the activation functions, which help us to introduce nonlinearity into our neural network. And they are like aggregation functions that help us to understand how we need to combine these different input, this, uh, this different neurons uh, corresponding z scores in order to obtain final, so single activation volume. So in here, if you look at this figure, you can see that we are using the x1, x2 up until xn, which are our input points. And then we have the corresponding weights, which tell us how much each of these inputs need to be activated. And then we need to aggregate these values. We need to obtain one single activation which will be then based on the activation function. It, will, it basically defines how much we need to add a value that corresponds to that specific input when computing the hidden units value that we saw before. And there are different sorts of activation functions. Do you mention briefly that the four popular activation functions are sigmoid activation function, the hyperbol hyperbolic tank function, uh, which shortly is referred as tank function. Also, definitely mention about a linear, a linear rectifier linear unit activation function. So the ReLU, and also mention the leaky ReLU. So the leaky version of the rectifier linear unit activation function. You can also, if you have time, you can also specify that activation functions, they act like a gatekeepers. So they decide how much information needs to be used from this from this state to be passed upon to the, onto the next state. So that's basically the idea behind activation functions, which enable the neural networks to properly learn nonlinear relationships in the data.